Sorry I keep filming like this. Okay, so I'm winding down. It is now Wednesday. It's 4.15 and there's three things I need to accomplish between now and when I pick up the trailer. Three things I want to accomplish. First thing, I gotta replace the mirrors. The They're just junked out. My left one will not adjust and my right one is just shaking and about to fall out. So I got some new mirrors. I'm just gonna toss them on. Um, hopefully that works out and is nice, quick, and easy. Second thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I picked up some grease. Someone told me about I can grease the front um, what are they called? Uh, Burfields um, through the inspection hole and I did some research on that and it seems like that's a good thing to do. Grease that up, fill it up, just kind of a maintenance item. Might help with the clicking as well. Last and third thing I want to do, which is actually the first thing I'm going to work on because it's probably going to be the longest, is I'm going to go ahead and replace the U-joint. I'm hoping this solves a lot of the clunking and vibration issues. Um, these are the best ones I could get in a short period of time. Uh, it was either this or Duralast, and I went with the Precision Universal joint. I couldn't get these spicers, but hopefully these are good. I've heard, I've heard these are good, and honestly, I just got to get started. So I'm going to try and pull the shaft, show you guys what it looks like, and get started on swapping these out. I'm just going to do the two in the rear. Again, I don't want to set my um, ambitions too high, and just need, I really need to knock stuff out. I'm so out of time. I haven't been able to hang out with Shay. Um, I just got to get this stuff done. Keep wrenching. All right, let's get started. All right, there we go. Not too bad. Got the rear drive shaft out. Wasn't too difficult overall, comparatively. Um, so, this has a, a whole lot of play. That one's pretty shot that direction, but again, um, we will see what this does. I just noticed that these clips are on the inside, which is gonna be fun, not on the outside. So, a little bit different, but hopefully I can make this work pretty quick. And there's a quick new versus old shot for you. No idea how old these are, but they seem to be very similar with their fittings. Not that that means much, but just a point of reference. All right, first one done and done. Took me a little while to figure out how to get the C-clips off, but after I got them off, it was pretty easy. Um, and then I, I broke this off. That's why it looks like that. Um, I don't know if it was wore out. I really don't. I hope it is because I'm going through all this effort to replace them. But... There you go. Like I said, I'm going to have at least have new U-joints. All right, now to take that one apart, and I'm going to get it all separated, and I think Shane and I are going to go to dinner, and then I'll put the new ones in when I come home. All right, and there we go. It is 547, and I feel like I have at least the hardest part done. Knocking those things out is super difficult, so I'm hoping getting the new ones in is a lot easier, and then just re-bolting the drive shafts back on and greasing everything up. I hope at least I'm doing work that needs to be done. Um, I don't know how old these were at the very least. I'm sure it'll help to have new um, U-joints in. So I'm hoping that works. And I'm hoping this helps at least in some form or fashion. <sighs> all right, gonna take a little break, come back and install the new stuff, put it all back together. Just living his own life. Okay, so I'm back at it. It's 10.50 now. I just finished up the U-joints, got back from dinner, um, got the U-joints all swapped on, show you what they look like. Everything is greased up now as well. So I greased up all the Zerk fittings and um, they're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss these back on and uh, bolt everything back up. But the drive shaft, rear drive shaft U-bolts, U-joints are completed. Basically at this point, that leaves me time to go ahead and gr grease up the front um, the front axle. I'm gonna check the inspection ports on the burr fields. And basically I got two tubes of grease and I'm gonna fill them up as much as, as, much as they need. Um, it says to fill them up halfway to three quarters of the way. I'll probably edge towards three quarters just to kind of make sure it's good to go. And also I need to change out the mirrors, which did show up today. And they're black too, which is cool. I just like black mirrors on rigs. I'm not sure why, but it looks better. So I'm going to put the drive shafts on, grease up the front axle, and then work on the mirrors if it's not too incredibly late. My goal is to be done at midnight tonight and just sleep in until like eight tomorrow. So that'd be great. Good night's rest and uh, prep me up for Thursday, pack up during the day, and then roll out Friday morning. So that's the plan, They're really close, almost there now. Just want to finish up these last three tax tasks before I get the trailer and on the road again. Not sure if you're gonna be able to see this, but this is the play I have in my drive shaft. All I'm doing is 
twisting it. Maybe that's normal. I'm not sure. That's all the amount of play that's in it. So the U joints are all swapped out. Everything is good. There's no other play except for this side to side play that I get. That may be normal. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm getting a little tired, but I'm also getting close. Okay, so I checked the inspection ports on the front axle on the burr fields, and it had grease in there, but I went ahead and just filled it up a little bit more. I think it was probably halfway, and I quartered it off uh, to about three quarters of the way. Now I'm working on getting the mirrors out. This is what they look like. Like I said, just black basic mirrors. That will work. Uh, did these motherfuckers send me two driver's side mirrors? No. Yep. Awesome. So there you go. I have two uh, driver's side mirrors. Like in my head, I'm trying to make them reversible when I know they're not. <laughs> You know what really sucks is, I already have this side all apart, ready to install a new mirror. So I'm gonna have to toss all that back together and hop on this side because I don't even have this mirror. Awesome. Okay, 12.46, Thursday, April 11th. Just finished up all the final tasks, minus the passenger side mirror, which kind of sucked, but you know, in terms of Looking at things on a positive note, at least the one that they did send was the driver's side and that was the one that didn't move at all. So now I at least have an adjusting mirror that I can use and my passenger mirror, it just wobbles a bit but I can just put some behind it to kind of fix it in place. I'll still be able to use it. So that's a win, gotta get with Amazon, send the other one back. Here's what I swapped out, just real quick. So you guys can see, let me see if I can get around. This is the one that did not swap. And there's the one that did. I need to wash this rig. It's so dirty now. It should actually come out really nice because there's a. it's got a really nice finish still on it and the body is really straight. But anyways, the mirror's on and that was the last task I wanted to complete on the rig. I've got a whole laundry list of tasks finally completed with the rig. Picking up the RV in a couple hours. Seems like that's the story of my life right now. Picking up the RV in a couple hours after I take Moose to the vet for his final shots. So he's good to go to travel to Colorado, rabies, last whatever shots, I don't know, booster shots they have or whatnot. Um, so anyways, um, I'll be able to see how the rear drive shaft is now with the new U-joints. I'll let you know how that worked out. Um, I'll hopefully the clicking up front stops with the grease I just did to the burp fields, but I won't really know until tomorrow when I actually drive it around. So that's that. Um, another late night, but at least I get to sleep in a bit tomorrow. Today was my last day at work. So transferring out from here and uh, starting this new adventure. So that's that. And um, thank you guys again for following along this journey to get to where we are now. Um, just to let you know, we are on Patreon now. I don't know how I feel about that, but if you're interested, there's a link below. We already have one. Totally awesome. Thank you so much, man, for, for helping us out. But anyways, I'm not gonna pimp that off or, or advertise that very much at all. I might do one video on it just to kind of explain it, but that's pretty much it. Anyways, I'm going to bed, guys. Again, thank you all for watching and following along. We'll see how this weekend goes. I got a, a map set up to get me halfway, basically more than halfway, Friday night, finish it off on Saturday. So I'm either gonna be enjoying life on Sunday or I'm gonna be working on something randomly. But that's all part of the adventure and you have to just take it in stride and enjoy things as it comes. So there you go, the only way to make change is to make change. All right guys, good night.